Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Rathinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about EFT actions. It is a very important topic. Before we start this, we must know some EFT terminology. First one is step or statement, a minimum executable unit. The second one is action, a set of statement to perform a task and finally test one or more actions to perform a task you are using one or multiple actions to perform a task there are some theoretical points we must know for interview purpose what is actions action helps tester to divide script into group of uft statements and it is a built-in feature of UFT. Action parameter are passed by value only. And the extension of action is MTS. And actions may or may not be reusable. Now, what is the purpose of action? Let me explain with an example. Consider this scenario. You are going to launch the Indian Railway website then we are going to navigate to the seat availability screen and enter the details as mentioned and uh, have to take the screenshot of availability details and finally we have to close the application this is our test case flow for this test case flow I am going to create a three action a first action which will launch the Indian Railway website second action get the seat availability details and third action to close the application so from this example first one is reusability how this will be reusable you are creating an another scenario which also needs the launch of indian railway website and close the application so i can reuse this particular action this is the example of reusability second one is readability here it is just five steps just consider a scenario you are going to code this case for 50 or 100 step instead of coding every statement into a single action if we divide it into each action it will be easy for us to understand so there comes the importance of readability now you are going to execute that full scenario in a particular portion the script got failed by seeing the results file it is easy for us to locating the errors and fix it types of action we have three types of action it is reusable action non reusable action external reusable action by default when we create an action it will have the setting as reusable action now our requirement for the test one is we have to launch it seat availability then close the application once again we have to launch that website and take the home screenshot and close the application here you are reusing the launch action and close the application action this is known as reusable action now what does non reusable action means i am creating an another test which requirement says we have to launch the indian railway website and enter the pnr status take the screenshot of it and close the application here if we make this particular indian railway launch action as a non reusable means we can't use it for this particular test to action so this is a non reusable action non reusable action is nothing but that action can be used within the test then what is external reusable action means the same scenario if you can able to use this particular launch the indian railway website and close the application in some other test that is known as external reusable action we have three ways to insert an action first one is insert call to new action then call to copy of an action and finally call to existing action now we must know when to 
use these three actions. Let us consider a scenario. We have to create a test to check the fair inquiry by directly navigating to the fair inquiry screen instead of home page. Now instead of creating the new action, we can call the copy of launch the Indian Railways website action. When you insert a call to copy of an action, the action is copied entirely including the local OR, statements or steps, data tables, parameterization, checkpoints, whatever we have used for that action will be copied entirely so that you can make changes to the copied action and this will not affect any other test. If you make changes here, it will not affect the, this action. Conclusion is, if we have to reuse an action with any modification, we should try for call to copy of action. Second step is, we have to create an action for fair inquiry. Here we don't have any action with fair inquiry functionality, so we have to create a new action. Conclusion is, if we have to create an action for new functionality, we should try for call to new action. Final step is to close the application. Here we are not going to make any modification to the code. So we can insert call to existing action. Now the entire action including the OR, data tables, parameterization, checkpoints will be loaded or will be called in read only mode. Here. We can't make any changes to the existing action. The conclusion is, if we have to reuse an action without any modification, we should go for call to existing action. Some important points for interview purpose is, insert call to copy of an action is, the entire action is copied then the changes made in the copied action will not affect any other test we can insert both the reusable and non-reusable action the main disadvantage of copy of an action is maintenance because whenever any object changes we have to modify all the option insert call to an existing action is yes, the entire action is called in the read only mode and we can't make any changes to this action and we can insert only the reusable action. The disadvantage is if the source action is modified it will impact on the target script as it is still referring to the source script. If I am going to modify any code change here this will affect test 2 also because we are just calling the test 1 action. That's the end of today's session. In next video, we will learn how to implement it practically. In case of any clarification, please post your queries. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.